So this is how I've adapted the Red Rover 6 Plus to run dual batteries. I got panniers on there. I got the new battery in the pannier here. And just keep it in there. And then I made an adapter the the battery that plugs in down here it used to run up and the controller used to be up here now i've moved everything back here move the controller back here and i'll have to make a bracket so that i just sits in there right now but it it sits in there pretty good but the stock battery the wire comes up and right now I don't have it plugged in, but I made an adapter. Well, I made a new whole new wire, as you've seen in the photos, if you saw my photos. And I soldered it on to the battery connector there. Then the old connector I desoldered, and that's what this is right here. And then I spliced it in to another piece of wire. And I soldered on an XT60 connector, a male, and that plugs in to the extra battery. Or if I wanted to plug the stock battery in to the controller, then I could just plug it in. Now I I've got an adapter coming from Area 13, and it's a little bit shorter, so I might use that. But it's got supposedly the right plug, because this is your controller, and this is a power in. The controller only has three wires. One goes down the hub, then the other one goes up to the pass controller and throttle, I guess. So I did a 37-mile ride with it today. And I only use 75% of this battery. I still got one, maybe even, you know, that's just a guesstimate. Maybe even 30, may have 30, 35% left. So I'm pretty happy with this battery. It's a 20 amp hour battery compared to the 14 on the Rad. If I would have used this, I would have been dead for doing 37 miles that's just about my limit 35 to 40 miles anyway kind of what i'm doing if you've got questions ask